Today on Toy Shiz, we finally caught up with that pesky Super Mario Bros. 3 airship. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Jack Pacific, and today, very excited for this, this is their brand new deluxe Bowser's Airship playset. From their previous, let's say, World of Nintendo, now I just call it World of Super Mario, because everything is... Mario! And it's great, and I love it, and I love all of these from the 2.5 inch to the 4 inch figures. Jax does amazing Nintendo toys. And check out this box, you have a 4 inch figure right next to it. It's a humongous box. Authentic in-game sounds, which if you've had any of the other sets that play music, you know exactly what you're in store for, although they do have surprises here and there. And like with all major sets, you get a little mini Mario 2.5 inch figure. This is actually pretty cool. Those of you parents out there, you know what's up. Store your figures. We're going to see how many we can get inside that. On the side of the box, play and store, yada yada. Always crisp, always clear, always just a really nice presentation. Bowser's airship, flying fortress, spinning propellers, yada yada. Again, this is mainly for 2.5 inch figures. I'll put some 4 inch figures on there just to see how it looks. The cross cells, which I haven't found yet. I know they're hitting stores, so I'm going to be after those. Although I do have the Deluxe Cloud playset. That'll be the next one we're looking at. If you're interested, here's the barcode. These are starting to hit Target stores now. Or if applicable, I'll have an Amazon link or an Entertainment Earth link down in the description. I've got high hopes for this. Being that huge Mario fan, huge Super Mario Brothers 3 fan, huge just Nintendo fan in general. And now we have this amazing, again, fingers crossed, display piece straight out of a Nintendo Mario game. Several, in fact, and it's still going to this day. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot Mario-tastic, I guess that works, cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Deluxe Bowser's Airship playset from Jack Pacific. Now before you get started, I recommend grabbing a Phillips head screwdriver and a pair of scissors or box cutters, whatever you got lying around, and then you're also going to need two AAA batteries. No, I don't work for Railvac, it's just what I had handy. There's a lot of twist ties, a lot of baggies to open, so come prepared. You also have an instruction booklet and stickers. My god, the stickers. So many stickers. Ah. Because yeah, there are a ton of pieces to this set, all of which you're going to assemble. So thank god there comes with a instruction booklet. It's fairly straightforward. Everything is shown in detail. All the different stickers. And hey, these are where the batteries go, which that's where the Phillips head screwdriver comes into play. Simply undo the two screws, pop in the batteries correctly, put the two halves of the ship together. Now make sure you got the Bowser's figurehead situated in the front, that's necessary, and on the back, the captain's cabin situates nicely, opens and closes. Just make sure everything is tightly snug because the back door can fall off. This is the button right here, nice and hidden. That activates the sound and then this is where the sound's gonna come out. Very cool. I love the look at that. Now when it comes to the stickers, again, so many stickers, but you know what? They go on pretty pretty easily i'll tell you that six bowser's heads the ones in the middles that's that's the ones that are gonna give you the most trouble i think and then you have all the little windows for the captain's cabin the backside. they all go on pretty straightforward it's gonna take you about five to six minutes to do each one just go easy then you have the mizzen the main mast and the foremast right yeah i know my nautical terms it's not like i looked it up before i did this right and then you have the jibbin. <laughs> I am looking at stuff as we speak, right? Then you also have the rudder and the propellers, which both move. So when you got everything pretty much assembled, all that's left is little baggy Mario. God, I wish more figures came in baggies like this. I absolutely love it. Sit him atop the ship and bingo bango, you got yourself one awesome looking Bowser's airship. This looks like it flew right out of the video game. It is amazing. It is such a cool toy and such a cool display stand as well. All the different main mass, four mass, mizzens, the deck up top, down to the cannons, the wood, the look of it, all the rivets and the metal, the front, the figurehead, Bowser, the back, quarter deck. It just looks so cool. And I love how the button is hidden. I'll show you all that in just a second, but it plays a lot of different tunes and sound effects. It's very, very cool. And I love the way everything is painted. It's done in that really simplistic looking style that Nintendo has taken on. And I really like the look of it. It's 
fun. And right here, you got wheels on the bottom of the ship. So when you roll it along, all the propellers move and spin. You got the crow's nest. You got the main mast. Everything right here all fits into place. And it just looks so cool. The cannons are so cool looking, right? From the top of the deck, from the back of the ship to the front, everything is detailed and painted oh so supreme. Love that Bowser's head right there. You know troubles are coming. The propellers on the top will spin. That's what activates the boat to make it fly in the sky, right? You could put a fan on it, maybe. I tried blowing on them. They're very heavy, so I'm just going to say flicking them is the best way to do it, right? And the best part is top of the boat comes right off and you can store your previous Nintendo figures inside. It fits a whole heck of a lot of them. So a lot more than this. You can get a bunch in there, you'll be satisfied. And when you're all set to go, simply just peg it right there on the top again and you're ready to set sail. The back of the rudder moves. It's very simple, but it's awesome. The cabin's quarters opens and closes just like that. You could put Mario in there, you could put Bowser, whatever you want to do. It's very cool. Just make sure everything is tightly formed when you assemble the ship. Because the one problem I had is that falls off from time to time. It's pretty snug now. But ultimately, what really brings this specific playset to life is if you have been, over the many years, collecting all of the various 2.5-inch Super Mario figures or the 4-inch figures to have Bowser or the Koopa Kids or any of the various Mario enemies to put them on this ship and then see it more as... A display if you're that type of Mario collector or for kids to have a storage area for all their various figures to have music to have propellers to have all this various imagery from the games come to life and in a very fun toyetic slash video game way it's not really simple to transfer the two but they have done a great job put bowser as the king of the world have all the various koopalings firing off bullet bills from all the cannons all of this really comes together to create a sense of a mario level and if you wanted to keep it simple mario smack dab in the middle and the four inch figures really do go with this too it really displays nicely so if you're more interested in that maybe for your nintendo room maybe for your video game collection maybe you got a really nice setup going on it really looks cool from 2.5 inch to 4 inch you'll find the various figures that fit this and yeah you can use other companies if you want of course, Jax is killing it right now. But I'm just saying, yeah, it really does fit. And if you were wondering how big this sucker is, in conjunction to the castle, it's a little bit smaller, but it fits and it looks cool. And one of these days, I'm going to put all my Super Mario Brothers levels together and we're going to see this in its full glory. These are big things to display, I'm not going to lie. But when you have certain ones out, you're having fun, looking at Bowser's castle, he's lying in wait for Mario, zoom up to the ship, and have all the Koopa kids, Mario front and center at the top, just beat the level. This is such a cool playset, and I know you guys have been waiting patiently to hear what it really does, so let's go ahead and push the button. So you do get various sounds from the game. You have Bowser largely screaming, yelling, firing off the cannons. It is so cool to hear this it really brings this whole situation to life but when you hold the button down that's when you start hearing the music and this will actually play for about three whole minutes until you push it down again and i'll just be silent for a few seconds that way you can take it all in That is so unbelievably satisfying. So cool to have. It's a fantastic display piece. It's a fantastic toy. And it incorporates everything you'd expect from the Nintendo franchise. You have the video game sounds. You got the music. You have a display piece for the 2.5 inch figures. The 4 inch storage for those figures. It works on every level. This is a great piece of art right here. 
Yes, it has stickers you got to put on. Yeah, you got to put it all together yourself. But the best part is it breaks apart really easily too for some easy storage as well. I highly recommend it. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite toys of this year. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Will you be picking this up? Is this set for you? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Super Mario. And thank you again to Jax for sending this out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, once the controller runs out of battery, well, you got some real-world Nintendo toys to play with. And Dagnabbit, they are fantastic. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.